did not. And welcome to another night of Friday Night Lights here at Goodnow Field in the Coconuts Homecoming Weekend. And we're starting off with the Frosh freshman sophomore game, the Coconut versus Marion. Coconut will be going from my left to right. Do you remember him from last year, Chad? Yep. Swanson to ki will be kicking off for Makokota. Yeah. And it's going to come down about the 16-yard line. And a big hole for the Marion returners out to the 40. And going to be finally dragged down by Emmett Ports at the 47 of Marion. And that was Alex Moda with the big return for the Indians. So Marion first and 10 at the own 47. Sweep. It's gonna be a sweep to the wing back and a big hit by Tynes on Jacob Wilkinson, the runner. And he's gonna be brought down about a gain of about a foot. So it'll be second and we'll call it nine. off up the middle and that one's stuffed by Dylan Sade. Ball carrier Landon Gordon of the Indians. Gets it to the 48, gain a one. So third and nine yet. a sweep to the near side and we're going to get down into Makokota territory at the 45 yard line to be short of a first down. It's going to set up fourth and a long one. <coughs> <coughs> Keelan Hoover on the tackle of the running back Moda on that last play. So fourth and a long one, we'll call it two. Fourth and two from the Makoka to 45. Marion in a wing T offense this year. Back in motion, quarterback keeper by Deers up the middle. And he's gonna have enough for the first down as he's gonna be marked down at the 41. Tackled by Kale Cobe. So first and ten, Marion. Handoff straight up the middle. Dylan Sade and Ben Tynes on the tackle of the running back, number 33, Gordon again. Takes it down to the Cardinal 35. It'll be second and four. You're gonna be over here. You're gonna move the camera, boy. I just moved it. <laughs> Sweep on the run around to Moda. Cuts it up. Keelan Hoover meets him along with Todd Acton. It's gonna be enough for another Marion first down as the ball's marked at the 26 of Makokota.
So first and 10 Indians, 6.56 on the clock and ticking here in the first quarter, just underway in the Frosh game. Sweep to the far side. And that's met by Acton. Dylan Sage will help finish up with Ben Tynes. Gain of about one down to the 25. As Wilkinson from the wing back position came in motion and on the sweep. Second and nine from the Lakota to 25 for Marion. First possession of the game. Quarterback keeper straight ahead. Tackle by Schwenker. Enough gain for about two, two yards down to the, oh, three yards to the 23. It's gonna leave a third and a long five for Marion there. Quarterback, Quarterback keeps off the fake uh, handoff. Ben Tynes read it really well. Ball being placed at the 21 of Makoka, so fourth down and four. Marion will go for it on the fourth and five. Be a sweep to the near side to Moda. Avoids yeah. one tackler, but doesn't avoid Max Keller on the near side edge at the 20. And that'll turn the ball over to the Makokota offense, first and 10. And Hunter Manning at quarterback and the Makokota offense will come on the field. They'll spot the ball at the 19 is where they'll say Moda got forward progress to. Double wides both sides. Hand off to Copang. Cuts it up over his left tackle. Short gain of about maybe two or three. Tackled there by number three Moda of the Indians. Double wides both sides again. Quick pitch to Copang. Comes to the near side, got, cuts it up. He had a little bit of a hole. He's got enough for a first down. He's out past the 35 yard line. Tackled by Tyler Woods, number two for Marion. Be first and 10 Cardinals at their own 37 yard line. Fumble pitch to Copang between Manning and Copang. Copang just falls on it. <coughs> Set up a big loss back to the 28 of Makokota. Quick pitch up to Copang on the near side. Tries to turn it up, it's gonna get stuffed at the 30 by number 63. Copang on the carry. Yeah, 62 and 63 are playing, but they're not on their roster, so. They just get their number called.
Manning will drop back to pass, comes out near side and throws it out of bounds over the head of Ty Streets, who had double coverage out there. This will be fourth and 17 for the Cardinals at their own 30 coming up. Hunter Manning in punt formation for Makoka. It's a low line drive kick. Takes a bounce at the 50 and it's gonna roll dead at the Marion 48. And that's where Marion will take over for their second offensive series. First and 10. Oh, you want us to be down 28? You want to be down 28 to nothing again? Get over here, Aiden. <laughs> it's going through, it's just, it's cutting out. And I can, then I can work on that. Here's your roster. And Marion's number 62 and 63 aren't on there. So. Holding Marion there. Third and thirteen here. Throws it across the middle. Intercepted by Keelan Hoover. He's going. Intercepted by Keelan Hoover. Keenan Deer's throw. Tended for number three. Hoover down on the field. Intercepted back to the 34 yard line. Huh? I did not mean to hit you. Looking for an eye care professional that is committed to your vision health and is fully involved in the local area? Then C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center is the full service vision specialist for you. They offer comprehensive exams, contact and lens services, and more importantly, C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center treats infections, removal of foreign bodies, and is able to treat diseases of the eye. 
They have glasses that meet all budgets and look forward to helping you with your vision needs. Contact them through their website at cbismaeyecare.com or call their office at 563-652-2795 to schedule an appointment and take care of your vision needs at Cebisma Eye and Vision Center of Maquoketa. Cebisma Eye and Vision Center is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Maquoketa Cardinal Athletics. You just have to follow me. You just have to move it around. Call the offense coming back out here. First and 10 on the 34. Manning hand up to Copang up the middle. Breaks a couple of tackles there. Foul. Second and four. Copang with the carry. What? Alright, good. Okay, good. Four out, four, three out wide for the Cardinals here. And Copang up the middle again. Tackled by number 63. First down, first and 10 on the Indians 23 yard line. End of the first quarter, zero, zero. <laughs> Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Makokota, Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Gill, and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main Street, Suite 1 in Maquoketa, Iowa. Schedule an appointment with Smiles on Main at 563 563- Six five two four one three three. Indians twenty three yard line. Hand up to Cobang up the middle again. Tap by tackled by twenty nine and I glade there. Second and two on the Indian fourteen. Well, doubles on both sides here. Pass, Manning drops back, rolls out right, gets rid of it, throws it in, complete attended for number nine, Max Keller in the end zone, the incomplete third and second on the Indians, 14. Third and two on the Indians, 14. here again. Defense! 
The run up the middle for Copa and gets outside to the left. Looks, sees the end zone. Touchdown, Cardinals. Isaac Copang with the run there. It'll be 6 0, Cardinals. Sean Swanson coming out to for the um, PAT attempt here. Fourteen yard run there for Copang. That's good and gets blocked by the Alex Moto with the block there on the PAD attempt. Six zero with the nine minute nine oh four left in the second quarter. Kickoff for the Cardinals. Al Alex Moda back deep to receive for the Indians. Is there a fire on the line? Number 32, Sean Swanson sets it. Number three, Alex Moda back deep to Mary. Short Get kick on there. Get on it. Get on it! That will be Cardinals ball on the kick. He covers it. Great kick there by Sean Swanson. Oh! <laughs> I'm paying attention on, to the game. Okay, that's just fine. Okay. <laughs> Left Whoever here. That, that's the <laughs> Fumble. Isaac Copang with the recovery. Ethan Hangartner there with the tackle. He's second and 17 on the 43. Looks like Coakley's back in there at quarterback. Manning switched to wide receiver now. Like an option here. Pitch to Copang. Tackled by number by Kai Glade and 62 there on the tackle. The third and 17 on the 43 yard line. Was out on both sides here. Coming in the backfield. Coakley drops back. It's sacked and fumble recovered by the Indians by number um, by 50. Aaron Rose with the recovery. Referee's calling him down right now. Nope. Indians ball on the 48 yard line here. Whoa.
false start. Maxwell lovely with the run there. It looks like it might be a false start. Legal shift on the Indians there. Legal motion. Yep. Legal motion there on the Indians. Back them up five yard, ten yard, five. Back them up to the 44 yard line. We'll be first and 15 here on the Coconut 44. Bunch that here for the Indians. Hand off up the middle. Third one to Max Lovely. Tackled by number Isaac Copang on the tackle. Taking up past midfield to the 29 yard line. We first and 10 on the 29. Good run there by Lovely. Six forty here to go. Makoko leading by six. Another run up the middle of the lovely. Stuffed up by Ben Tynes there on the tackle. Second and ten on the twenty seven. Lovely? Set here. <laughs> 45. Jacob Wilkinson with the run there. Flag on the field. Wilkinson with the carry. Attacked by number 15, Levi Livermore. There is a penalty flag on the field. Legal motion again? A legal shift on the Indians there. Be second and seven on the 32. Another fly on the field. Time out on Marion here. I thought it was another legal shift. We'll be right back on MCSN. Got a baseball or softball player home? Then look to PC Sports to unlock their potential with individualized baseball and softball instructions with their personal instructors. Increase their bat speed and arm strength with proven enhancement programs. Contact PC Sports at 563 212 9685 for your player to be the best they can be. PC Sports is located at 1914 140th Street in Delmar, Iowa. The staff at PC Sports is always adding new programs and opportunities, so subscribe to their Facebook page to keep up with everything going on at PC Sports. Welcome back here in the second quarter with 5.44 to go. Cardinals leading 6-0. Indians ball second and 13 on the 32-yard line. Sweep to the outside to Jacob Wilkinson. Knocked out of bounds by Levi Livermore. Wilkinson with the carry. Tackled by number 15, Levi Livermore. Third and. Third and four on the 23 yard line here. Oh. 
up the middle. Lovely. Level up the middle there for the Indians first down. Lovell with the first down there. First and ten on the corners fifteen. Hand up the middle, fumble on Lovell with the fumble there, recovered by number 31, Sean Swan, 32, Sean Swanson. Kokodo Cardinal will take over at the 15 yard line. Manning's going back on quarterback here. Like another option. Manning's gonna keep it, get tackled by number 58, Grant Schultz. Looks like lost, lost some yardage there. Me, nope. tackle the line of scrimmage. Be second and ten on the 15. Off to Copang up the middle. Tackled by number by number 63 on the tackle there. Looks at third and six with um, Indians 19. And shotgun here. Looks like a pass. Manning gets rid of it. Little pass to Isaac Copang. He gets outside. Oh. Dang it. Flag on the play. Tackled by Alex Moda. Pass complete number seven. Isaac Copang. Tackled by number three, Alex Moda. There is a penalty flag on the field. See what the flag is here. Talking this one out. 3.37 here to go in the uh, end second quarter. Let's come out and make the call. What'd they call there, Dale? Looks like a block in the back there. I'm a Kokoda and uh, what was it? Looks like 12 men. They had 12 men on the field. Marion did. So it will be third and six again on the 19. Let's see what they do here. Manning drops back. Oh, it's a reverse. It's a reverse to Ty Streets. Ty Streets there. Tackle by number 15, Hagen Cooper on the tackle. First down, Cardinals. Tackle by number 15, Aaron Rose. Looks like Manning rolled out right there and then gave it to the receiver coming back. I thought it was going by as a coat bang. Yeah. Kokoda. 
pitch to number seven, Isaac Copang. Breaks one tackle. It's upfield tackle by number 45 of the would be Jacob Wilkinson, 62. <laughs> Second and six on the 44. Doubles out wide here from Kokoda. A pass from Kokoda. Throws it to Tyson Wilhelm, wide open. Wilhelm catches the ball across midfield. First down. Wilhelm catches, gets tackled right away by number. Is it two, Kai? I don't see. Tyler Woods then on the tackle. Who got the tackle? Oh. Hand off to Copang. Copang goes out left, gets stuffed behind the line by 63 and Aaron Rose there. <laughs> it's like second and 10. On the Makoka is 35. We've got a minute 30 here to go in the second quarter. Cardinals leading by six. Oh, I don't know. Another hang, hand up to Copang up the middle. Gets up. Looks like maybe th third and th third and three. T timeout Cardinals. With 55 seconds left in the second quarter. If you're looking for an old school cut, then Dan's Barbershop is just what you're looking for. No fancy frills, just a low cost cut with old time barbershop charm. Stop in and experience the social time that is lacking in this modern world. Dan's Barbershop is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Saturday, 7 a.m. to noon. Located at 301 North Main Street in Makokota, Iowa. And speaking of Saturdays, Bring your cup of coffee and enjoy a free donut on Saturday morning as the main topic of conversation is usually centered around Makoka Athletics. Dan's Barbershop is a proud sponsor of MCSN. Stumbled up fumble maybe. Tackled by number one. Aaron Rose. 40 seconds is left. Two timeouts left for the Cardinals. See if we see a late scoring touchdown here. Looks like a pass. Got him. Sees wide it open. wide open. Oh. oh, pass intended for Keller there. Inco falls incomplete over the middle. It'll be second and 10 here on the 27 yard line. No, that was for down. Or yeah, oh, that was, oh. That was a, looks like turnover on downs there for the Cardinals. Oops. It's getting cold up here. <laughs> About I didn't bring 23 anything. seconds to go here. Indians ball on the 28. Yeah, I'm going to go there in a sec. Probably. So, uh, sweep to Moda to the outside. Number, oh, number four. Four, Todd Acton on the tackle. Looks like probably see a face mask probably here. Acton. 
face mask gear. Is that 15 yards? Five. Uh -uh. So first, no, sec, yeah, first and five here. Listen, five. Till first down and three to go. Another sweep to Moda to the outside. Ooh. Max Keller and Isaac Copang on the tackle. Looks short of the first down, maybe. Be, what is that? Yep, time runs out there. Going into halftime, it'll be 6-0. Cardinals are leading the Indians. Be back here on MCSN to finish out the rest of the game. Fundraisers for our athletic booster club this year was the pie in the face. Seven volunteers agreed to make themselves a target, but only the top two participants will be receiving the most. The top two participants receiving the most votes will receive the award. The participants are Scott Hansen, Cassie Burns, Doc Cove. Sid Clark, Don Schwinker, Roy Gerlach, and Sammy Scar. Again, the participants are Scott Hansen, Cassie Burns, Doc Cove, Sid Clark, Don Schwinker, Roy Gerlach, and Sammy Scar. This time, we'd like to thank all of our participants for being such good sports and for helping the athletic boosters to raise money for our athletic programs. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now, let's let three of our faces breathe a sigh of relief. In no particular order, these people will not be receiving a pie in their face this evening. Sammy Scar, Cassie Burns, Scott Hansen, and now we will count down the runners up in true pageant style. Coming in at fourth place was Don Schwenker. Coming in in third place is Doc Cove. So ladies and gentlemen, these two remaining Cardinal faces were chosen as your favorites for the Athletic Boosters Pie in the Face fundraiser. Roy Gerlach and Sid Clark. 
Once again, a big thank you to all of our participants and another round of applause. Thank you. Our two pie throwers for tonight's event will be Jeff Clark and Chris Mickey. Oh, Jeff's one of them. Can you get a new record? Throwers, please line up with the victim of your choice. Throwers, fill your pies. Thanks again ever, to everyone who donated to the Athletic Boosters Fundraiser. They're going mad. <laughs> She's trying to get him back. There's parents in on this. Hopefully they fill up so we don't have to sit in all fab this spot here down the ER.
two minutes. I don't not know where he went. You have to do the camera. Yes. Is Casey still hurting? Cardinals are down 3-0. Yeah. Bottom of seven. Spread right now is Michigan four. What did Hoover do? What's up, dude? What's up? I made it. It took me three and a half hours to get here. Why? Traffic? It was terrible. It didn't go over like 55 miles per hour. Really? I pulled it fast about 61 right there. I didn't get a little Yeah. I guess. I could have came home last night. What did you get a class for? My only class got canceled because it was going to be on campus. Nothing today. I had nothing today. I, I woke up, played Xbox, ate lunch at the cafe, and went and went to it by myself. Rough life. I could have came on last night. Oh well. I'm here though. Where's Chad? He's over there. He's gonna split up now or what? No, he's gonna do PA for this game. So Aiden's doing kind of fun. How's Dylan doing? Huh? How's Dylan doing? Actually, he's done pretty well. He's got some tackles. He's gonna be so excited when he finds out I paid him a tour. <laughs> Mom's going out tonight? Yeah, what's that about? Second half, Cardinals up by six. Yeah, this internet's having Hoover to check for the IT guy. Yeah, yeah. Like that. So the video, the video stuff kind of just off. 35 kick in here for the Indians. Back to receive for the Cardinals are. Oh, uh, shoot. Emmett Ports and Max Keller back to receive. Heller gets, look, goes out of bounds at the three yard line. Corporate offense going back here out on the field. Hand off to uh, Copang up the middle. Gets outside. Tackle by number 45, Jacob Wilkinson on the tackle there. First and, or second and two on the Coca 43 yard line.
Coming in the backfield here. Three out. Three out wide on the left side here. Copang running to the right. It's the first down. Knocked out of bounds by number by Jacob Wilkinson and Kale Scott there on the tackle. Picks up the first down, be first and 10 on the 47. Hand up to Copang, up the middle. Stuffed up by a whole gang of Marion players there. Got Kill Scott, 63 there. Every player is on the tackle there. Every player had the tackle there. Manning drops back the pass, gets rid of it, throws it across the middle to no, attended for Todd Acton. Incomplete, almost intercepted by. Third and seven. Hand up the middle to Copang. Knock back be fourth and nine, fourth and eight maybe, fourth and seven on the 50 yard line. Probably see, maybe see a punt here. Tackle by Ty Glade there, number, Ty Glade, number 25. Manning back in punt formation here. Back to receive Alex Moda and Tyler Woods for the Indians. Gets rid of it, kicks it right to Moda, takes a bounce. Moda receives it, tackled by, oh. Gets loose at two tackles, tackled by number five. Tackled by number nine, Max Keller on the tackle there. Going back to the 29 yard line, be first and 10 on the Indian 29. Oh, pass 14, wide open, number nine, wide open, incomplete. Pass attended for number nine, Brandon, Brennan Kruger on the play. Be incompletely second and 10 on the 29 yard line. What? Up the middle with, up the middle right there. Tackle on the play by Dylan Sade, number 65. Abraham Duval on the. Hand up to Moda in motion. He gets knocked up by number 32, Sean Swanson there. The first down on the 42 yard line. Still in the first quarter according to me.
pass. Knocked out of bounds by number by Ty Street and Wyatt Schwenker there. First and eight. Second and eight, maybe. Second and nine. the middle there, low level up the middle there, tackled by Kale Cobe. My bad, Landon Gordon with the carry there. Third and six on the 46 here. Pitch to Moda here. Moda gets to the outside. Tackle by number eight, nine. Max Keller there with the tackle. First down Indians. The 42 yard line here. Fourteen rolls out. Keegan oh, Beers pass. Oh, almost intercepted by number eleven, Ty Streets. Flag on the play there. Looks like Streets is motioning for a flag there. Pass and pass interference on the offense. First and 20. First and 24 here. The Indians on the hand of up the middle to Gordon. Tackled by Levi Livermore. Pitch to Wilkinson here to the outside. Flags on the play. Tackled by number four, Todd Acton. Holding on Marion there, the second and second and seventeen here on the forty-two yard line. Two back-to-back -back penalties for Marion there. Got four forty-five to go here. And Cardinals up by six. Seven rolls out. Time out called by Marion there. Second and have the flag first. Looks like it'd be a delay a game on the Indians. Oh. 
penalty flag on the field and they're still. Got a baseball or softball player home? Then look to PC Sports to unlock their potential with individualized baseball and softball instructions with their personal instructors. Increase their bat speed and arm strength with proven enhancement programs. Contact PC Sports at 563-212-9685 for your player to be the best they can be. PC Sports is located at 1914 140th Street in Delmar, Iowa. The staff at PC Sports is always adding new programs and opportunities, so subscribe to their Facebook page to keep up with everything going on at PC Sports. Indians come back out on the field here. 4.32 to go here in the third quarter. Second and 25 on the Indians. 42. Mona in motion. Reverse to 27, which is to Braden Gardner. That was him. You. Third and 18 on the 50 yard line with four minutes to go. Keegan Deers on the keep there. Tackled fourth and 20 on the 48 yard line here. Patch receiver of the Cardinals is Emmett Ports and Max Keller kicking off is Ports lets it bounce in front of him. Down by down by number uh, Jacob Wilkinson. Colgate his ball here on the first and ten on their own twenty two yard line. Hit up to Copang up the middle. Tackle by number sixty eight, Kale Scott. In there on the tackle. Second and four on the twenty two yard line. Up the middle of the Copang again. It's the first down, tackled by number 63 and Kai Clade. Copang out right here. Gets stuffed up by number 32, Caden McQuarrie. Yeah. 
and Kale Scott on the tackle there. The second and eight on the 40 here. Trips out left here from Kokoda. Another handoff to Kopang. He breaks a couple of tackles. Flag on the field. Tackle by number Kill Scott. Flag back by the line of scrimmage. Holding on. A Luke block in the back on the Cardinals. Holding. Holding on the Cardinals there. Pass here. Manning drops back, rolls out, tossed it to Copang. Looks like Copang, incomplete pass tended for Isaac Copang. There will be third and 18 on the 30 yard line here. Yeah. Should have scored a bunch of times. Yes. Manning drops back here. Get rid Gets of rid it. of it. Throws it deep oh, to Keller. Perfect. Looks intercepted by Alex Moda on the interception there. Tackled by Ty Streaks and Max Keller on the tackle there. The Indians will take over at the 38 yard line with 47 seconds to go in the third quarter. Were you at the Xavier game Monday? No, I was uh, at the William Penn Mount Mercy doubleheader. So it was in Cedar Rapids, just didn't go to that game. Yeah, Moda up the, no. Lovell up the middle here. That's two in motion there. And up the middle to uh, tackle in the middle by two, number three, Landon Gordon there, Gordon tackled by, by six, Lane, Kilbert. Lane Kilbert there on the tackle. But that'll be the end of the third quarter. Cardinals will lead 6-0. Looking for an eye care professional that is committed to your vision health and is fully involved in the local area? Then C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center is the full service vision specialist for you. They offer comprehensive exams, contact and lens services, and more importantly, C. Bisma Eye and Vision Center treats infections, removal of foreign bodies, and is able to treat diseases of the eye. They have glasses that meet all budgets and look forward to helping you with your vision needs. Contact them through their website at cbismaeyecare.com or call their office at 563-652-2795 to schedule an appointment and take care of your vision needs at Cbisma Eye and Vision Center of Makokota. Cbisma Eye and Vision Center is a proud sponsor of MCSN and Makokota Cardinal Athletics. Ball here to start the second, the start the fourth quarter here. Yeah. 
Who's announcing the little boys? Taking up the middle by Landon Gordon. Kill Cole under tackle. Toss out to 45. Tossed out to Jacob Wilkinson on the tackle. Ma Max Keller there on the tackle. Be fourth and. Fourth and. Fourth and, th not three, seven, yeah. Punt here. Oh, oh Copang. Got a piece. It got a piece oh, of it. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Missed by the Indians recover the, the block punt fumble there. 63, and number 63, and Riley Ellis with the recovery there for the Indians. Mary will take over first and ten on their own thirty-eight. <laughs> oh, Maxwell Lovell on the with the carry there. Stuffed up by Ben Tynes and Emmett Ports. Lovell with the carry, tackled by Ben Tynes. Kelly Marker on the field. Legal shift against Marion. He climbs. Second and 11. Second, second 11 here on the 40. Pass here. He drops back. Tended for number for number nine. Brennan Kruger incomplete. Bring up third and twelve on the forty yard line. Eight eight eighteen here. Flash third and there's Third and 12 here. Oh my God. Fighter! <laughs> 14 there with the keep, stuffed up by number 60. Lane Kilberg. Lane Kilberg and a lot of other Makokota players there. Got a flag on the field. Legal motion. Another legal motion on the Indians. Decline will be up fourth and 12. How many is that tonight? Quite a few. They actually can almost call on every play because the two wing backs keep move going forward before the snap. Well, that one, Moda moved before the snap even. Yep. Back to receive is Wilhelm and Keller for the Cardinals. Kicking will be number 35. Goes out of bounds around the 20 yard line. Eight teams where they're gonna mark it. Coco will take over on their own 18 yard line with 7.44 to go in the fourth quarter. Toss to Copang to the right side. 
Talk about a gang of Marion players there. Opening with the carry. Second by number 54, Parker Bluey. Got a flag or go? Why'd they stop the clock? No idea. I want to hustle up off my feet there. Hunter Man drops back here. Gets rid of it, thrown across the middle, pretended for, for Tyson Wilhelm, incomplete. Be, bring up third and 10 on their own 18. Ball start on the Cardinals there, back them up third and 15. Penalty on the field, ball start against the Pogoda. 6.56 to go here. Copang gets outside. Knocked up by number two, Tyler Woods and Tyler Graybill on the tackle there. Bring up fourth and, fourth and four. Fourth and three maybe, fourth and two. Looks like the Cardinals will go for it here. This. Not in a six. Like a six. Oh, get sneak there. right up the middle. Got it. Got it. Got it. Looks like a first down. Cardinals. Hunter Manning right up the middle there. Tackled okay. by number 54. Parker Dowley. That was a huge call on your side of the field. It's only a six nothing lead. Wow. Start calling uh, Josh Riverboat Josh. <laughs> Hand up to Copang. Oh, Manning keeps it. He's going. Tackled by Alex Moda on the tackle there. Moda's limping. Enough for a first down now at the 42. Yes. So first and 10 here on their own 42 yard line. Motion, Acton gets outside, he's going upfield. Tackled up by number 45. 45. Jacob Wilkinson there. Knocked out of bounds at the 47 yard line. Second and three. Hit up the middle of the Copang again. Tackled by number 54, Parker Dowley. 
be good enough for uh, Coke at a first down. First and ten on the forty eight. So a penalty flag on the field here against Marion. Offsides. Offsides on Marion there. Coco will go up to the 43 yard line. We first and five. <laughs> Copang up the middle there, tackled by number 50, Aaron Rose on the tackle there. About four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Makoka is still leading by six. No. <laughs> motion, Todd in motion, and acting here. Manning up the middle, good enough for Makoka to first down. Tuck my number 63 on the tackle there. Pitch to Copang, breaks one tackle, gets outside, stuffed up behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like 54, Parker Dowley on the tackle there. Oh, look at a timeout by uh, Marion. Call, Marion called timeout here. 2.55 to go in the first quarter. Smiles on Main, a distinguished dental care provider, conveniently located in Makokota, Iowa. At Smiles on Main, we have a special interest in your dental health. Dr. Salvador, Buddy Atienza, Dr. Abby Giel, and their highly qualified team of professionals will work with you to create an individualized treatment plan specifically designed to address your unique needs. Nothing exudes beauty and confidence like a bright, vibrant smile. And at Smiles on Main, we believe that everyone deserves to experience life-altering benefits of a radiant, healthy smile. Smiles on Main is located at 119 South Main Street, Suite 1 in Makoka, Iowa. Schedule an appointment with Smiles on Main at 563-652-4133. Kids on that whole team. Hey, what? There supposed to be no kids over there on that whole team? Uh, they, they end up congregating. So oh, timeout. Marion is their last timeout here with 2.43 to go. Third and 20. Yeah, he didn't even get the snap. Have that much, 
going back on the thing. Well, most of it. Bring the bad snap there brings up third and 20 on the McCoy 40 yard line with 2.43 to go here. Reverse to Streets. He breaks the tackle, gets to the outside. It's stuffed up by Moda. Alex Moda. Bring up fourth down here. Probably the play clock wind down a little bit here. Get some time off the clock. You don't need to throw the screen with that. You just run seven, six, five, six yards and throw it to him. Go. Well, he, There's he, nobody in the middle. He was wide open. Looks like they're gonna go. Yeah. No. 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 He's gonna. Manning no. drops back. Under the punter now. Gets it off. Oh, good punt Get out there. of bounds. Get out of bounds. Get, Get out, out of bounds, bounds yeah. at the three-yard three line on the way it looks. See where he marks it out. They're going to put it at the five. Five. Great punt there by Manning. Yeah. Got a minute 41 to go. Marion will take over at the their own five-yard line. Good punt there. It was a good punt. Perfect. Can't draw it up any better. Unless it goes out to one. Yeah. Keep the Cardinals can hold them with a minute 41 to go. Pitch to Moda to the outside. He gets outside. Acton's got him. Oh, he broke oh, that he tackle. Broke that tackle. It looks like. Kilberg's going to force him out. Yeah, Lane Kilberg forces him out after he picks up the first down. Get out of bounds, like, yeah. Minute 32 to go. Marion has no timeouts left. That's good. Yes. Have they even completed a pass tonight? No. I didn't think so. I haven't passed very much, though. Oh, Hold I get this out here. Comes a pass. pass. He's throwing it. it. Looks like it's going to be oh. oh, incomplete. Intended for number 45, Landon Wilkinson will be incomplete. Good throw there by Moda. Yep. Second and 10 now with a minute 24 to go. Probably should have caught that. It was catchable. He had to come back for it. It laid it up a little too short, but he adjusted at the last second. Just went through his hands. Very catchable, though, at the 45. Drops back pass. Deers gets rid of it. Throws it to Moda. Moda gets wrapped up and tackled by Tyson Wilhelm near the 22. Yeah, because they're practice pants. 23 yards. I, think, I think black on black would look great too, but. Four seconds here. It's another pass. Deers gets gets rid of it. Throws it to number 31. Lovell, Lovell there. Incomplete. Be fourth and two on with 47 seconds to go here in the. Stop him here. He can run it out. It's over. Or just need it. That's what I mean. You got to stop him here. Oh, then, yeah, yeah. Then it's over. Big fourth down here. It's like a keep with Keegan Dyers. Gets to the outside. Uh -oh. he's, he's got some blocking. Yeah, he's going to be out to the 46. Tackled by number Wilhelm on the tackle there. He came all the way from the other side of the field to make the tackle. Oh, hurry up, offense. Probably see a spike here, yep. 
fight with 31, 30 seconds left here. The second and 10 on the 46 yard line. See what Marion draws up here. Mona, pitch to Moda. He passes it again. It's going deep. It's to 45. It oh. oh, almost intercepted by Keller there. Keller had an inside look at it and just turned around the right possible time, but unable to haul it in. Oh, there looks like a flag. It looks like roughing the passer. Roughing the passer. Can you call roughing the passer on that? <laughs> he's he's not the quarterback. That it, it, it's already been. Pitch, so he he's becomes a runner. It's an RPO. I don't know. That shouldn't have been. I don't know. I don't think. Can they call that Chad? Are they rubbing the passer after he on the, he on the running back? It? I don't agree with that call. No. Not a very good call. Dyer drops back here. Gets rid of it off one foot. That's up for grabs. Who wants, Who wants it? Who got it? it? Who has it there? Yeah, looks Marion like looks like they're going to end up Marion with it. Marion gets it there. Um, who caught that one? Stop clock, Brennan but they moved the chains. Brennan caught that one. Max Keller in there, though. Yeah, looks like they weren't set. Spike with seven seconds to go here. Marion did not get set when they snapped the ball. False start? No. Yeah. Well, I guess that works, too. The first and 15. They picked it up? I don't know. I guess they did mark it off. What's going on here? About two seconds here left in the fourth quarter. See what? See what? Two seconds. Mary timeout Makokota. Oh. See what Makokota does here. A timeout. Don't think the head official had control of that whole situation oh, there. That a, would that have been a roughing the pass? I don't think it should have been because he wasn't the quarterback. Yeah, he was a passer, once you, but they, once tossed it, they tossed it to him. Yeah, once you do that, then you become a runner. Now, if you throw it, you can throw it. But, right, if you if you pitched it to him, he becomes a runner. Yeah. You can hit it, you can still even if you, even after he throws like it. Like when the Eagles ran the Philly Special, that's, yeah. still, that's still not a you can blow them up. Yeah. Within yeah, discretion. I mean, you can't you can't throw it and then wait two seconds to hit him. But well, I don't yeah. think that's the case on that one. I'll have to look at the video. He dove at his legs and made a tackle. I'll have to look at the video again on that one tomorrow. Well, let's see what happens here. Two seconds to go. Very low scoring game. I'm kind of surprised. We've been putting up some points, but give Marion credit. Their defense has played well. Yes. Give up that one play in the first quarter, nothing sense really. So this is it. Probably gonna be a pass here. It's gotta be two seconds left. Near yeah. the twenty six yard twenty one yard line. Deers he drops back. Get him. Coping. Yeah. Yes! And that will be a that'll be a sack to end the game. Sack by number by Kale Cobe. And Isaac Copang there on the tackle. And Wyatt Schwanker. Yeah. The Coke to win six to zero. Very low scoring game there. The Coke stays undefeated on the season. Was it five and Odell? Six and oh. Six and oh. For the soft. Fresh soft. Fresh soft, yeah. Coke up in there. Well, that'll wrap things up for the fresh soft game. Thank you, Aiden, for doing the play-by-play -play once again. And yes. Experience always helps. <laughs> yes. See you, Dale. <laughs> All right. Thank you. We'll take a break, and we'll come back with the varsity action here in a little bit. Uh, also, to remind you to uh, tune in tomorrow, we'll have the video of this game. For Aiden Jerstead, I'm Dale Scott. We'll see you in a little bit for the varsity homecoming game, Marion at Makokota. Coming up shortly on MCSN. <laughs>